Welcome to this dynamic 30-minute vinyasa flow, uniting breath and movement through purposeful repetition while challenging both mind and body. Let's begin in your favorite version of child's pose. Allow yourself to be passive here, enjoying each breath as it passes through you and allowing the body to be supported by what's below you. Take one more breath here. On your next inhale, lift the head if it's down and come onto hands and knees, and we'll move into frog pose. Turn to face the side edge of your mat and move back a little. Start with the knees under your hips and slowly slide them apart until you feel sensation in the inner thighs. Be mindful not to push too hard here as this can be an intense pose. Once you've found your sweet spot with about 50 to 75% intensity, stay here and breathe. Be mindful that the legs stay at about a 90 degree angle. One more breath. Come up onto your hands, if not there already, and slowly inch the knees together. Crawl into tabletop with the hands under your shoulders and knees under your hips. To gently release frog pose, we'll take a few rounds of cow-cat. Inhale, lift the chest and arch the spine for cow. Exhale, contract into cat, curling the spine and engaging the abdominals. Inhale, arch into cow. Exhale, contract into cat. Inhale, arch into cow. Exhale, contract into cat. Take two more rounds on your own breath pattern. Finish up your last round and come to neutral. Step your right foot forward between the hands for low lunge. Shift your weight into the front foot. Back foot can either release or tuck the toes, your choice. Place your hands on your thigh or on blocks. Keep the chest lifted and breathe here. Now let's take a side bend. Bring the right hand either to your thigh or to the block outside of the front leg. As you exhale, side bend over that front leg, sweeping the other arm up by your ear. Keep that armpit lifting upward to avoid twisting the spine. Release the side bend and bring the left hand to your mat or block, but toward the side edge of your mat. Inhale the right arm up, and as you exhale, bend up the back leg and connect the hand and foot for a sweet quad stretch. Not only does this open the hip flexor and quad muscle, but you get this beautiful twist through the back while opening the chest and heart. Release the foot and find high lunge. This serves as our transition to warrior three. Shift your weight into the front foot as the back leg lifts behind you. You're looking for a straight line from the crown of the head to the floating foot. Take your arms into the position that you feel the most secure. Enjoy the non-permanence of balance poses. They are forever in flux and an adventure in and of themselves. 
From here, we'll soften into half Lord of the Fish. Bend both knees and tuck the floating leg under you as you sit on the mat. Inhale the arms out to your sides. Exhale, twist to the right. Right hand behind the hip. Hug the leg or tuck the elbow around the top thigh. Let the neck rotate to the right as well, as long as this feels okay for you. On your next inhale, turn the head to the top of your mat. Exhale, find plank. Take your vinyasa. Lower down, knees and chest, or chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back to child's pose or downward facing dog. Stay here for about five breaths. Take one more big juicy breath. Inhale, lift the head and step your left foot forward between the hands for low lunge. Shift your weight into the front foot. Back foot can either release or tuck the toes. Place your hands on your thigh or on blocks. Keep the chest lifted and breathe here. Now let's take a side bend. Bring the left hand to either your thigh or the block outside of the front leg. As you exhale, side bend over that front leg, sweeping the other arm up by your ear. Keep that armpit lifting upward to avoid twisting the spine. Release the side bend and bring the right hand to your mat or block, but toward the side edge of your mat. Inhale the left arm up, and as you exhale, bend up the back leg and connect the hand and foot for a sweet quad stretch. Release the foot and find high lunge. This serves as our transition into warrior three. Go ahead and shift your weight onto the front foot as the back leg lifts behind you. You're looking for that straight line from the crown of the head to the floating foot. Take your arms into the position that you feel the most secure. Hands to prayer, down by your sides, or out like an airplane. Stay here and breathe. From here, we'll soften into half lord of the fish. Bend both knees and tuck the floating leg under you as you sit on the mat. Inhale the arms out to your sides. Exhale, twist to the left. Left hand behind the hip, hug or tuck the other elbow around the top thigh. Let the neck rotate to the left as well, as long as it feels okay. On your next inhale, turn the head to the top of your mat. Exhale, find plank. Take your vinyasa. Lower down, knees and chest, or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, press back to Child's Pose or Downward Facing Dog. Stay here and breathe for about five breaths. For our next section, we'll repeat a bit of the flow, but with shorter holds, and we'll add on to it to play a little more. Since you're familiar with where we're going, I'll give less cues. So, on your next inhale, lift the head. Exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands for low lunge. Place your hand on your thigh or on blocks. Now let's take our side bend. As you exhale, side bend over the front leg, sweeping the other arm up by your ear. Release the side bend and bring the left hand to your mat or block, but toward the side edge of your mat. Inhale the right arm up, and as you exhale, bend the back leg and connect the hand and foot for your quad stretch. 
Release the foot and find high lunge and transition into warrior three. Take your arms where you'd like them to be. And here's where we'll play. Bring the floating leg forward for tree pose. Find a connection of the foot to the inner leg around the ankle, on the calf muscle, or above the knee joint. Feel free to place the arms where you feel most inspired today. Mine happen to float upward, but you do you. Bring your hands to your heart center. Gently release the foot and take a big step back to warrior two. Extend the arms to shoulder height, palms down. Reverse warrior. On your inhale, flip the front palm upward. Exhale, reach that hand up to the sky. The back fingers brush the leg, but just a soft touch here and keep your chin to your armpit. Inhale through center and exhale into Trikonasana Triangle Pose. You're welcome to open the shoulder more by binding the top arm if it's available to you. Take one more breath here. Shift into extended side angle pose. Bend the right arm and place the forearm across your thigh perpendicularly. For more depth, bring the right hand down to a block or your mat inside of the foot and keep that top armpit lifted. Bring your hands down to the mat and flip to face the right side of your mat for a modified side plank with the right foot in front of you. Reach the top arm to the back of your mat, sink into the hips. As you exhale, sweep the arm overhead and lift the hips. Inhale, lower, hand reaches to the foot. Exhale, sweep the arm and lift the hips. Inhale, lower, reach for the foot. Exhale, sweep the arm all the way over, find plank and vinyasa. Lower down, knees and chest or chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, press back to child's pose or downward facing dog. Stay here and breathe. Okay, time for the second side. Inhale, lift the head and step the left foot forward into low lunge. Place your hands on your thigh or on block. Now let's take our side bend. As you exhale, side bend over the front leg, sweeping the other arm by your ear. Release the side bend and bring the right hand to your mat or block, but towards the side edge of your mat. Exhale the left arm up, and as you exhale, bend the back leg and connect the hand and foot for your quad stretch. Release the foot and find high lunge to transition into warrior three. Take your arms into the position that you feel the most secure. Time to play. Bring the floating leg forward for tree pose. Find a connection of the foot to the inner leg, around the ankle, the calf muscle, or above the knee joint. Feel free to place the arms where you feel most inspired. Bring your hands to your heart center, gently release the foot, and take a big step back to warrior two. Extend the arms to shoulder height, palms down. Reverse warrior. On your inhale, flip the front palm upward. Exhale, reach that hand up to the sky. The back fingers brush the back leg with just a soft touch, and keep your chin in your armpit. Inhale through center and exhale into Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. You're welcome to open the shoulder more by binding the top arm. Take one more breath here. Shift into Extended Side Angle Pose. 
For more depth, bring the left hand down to a block or your mat inside of that front foot. Just be mindful that the chest doesn't collapse. Bring your hands down to the mat and flip to face the left side of your mat for your modified side plank, the left foot in front of you. Reach the top arm to the back of your mat and sink into the hips. As you exhale, sweep the arm overhead and lift the hips. Inhale, lower, reach for the foot. Exhale, sweep the arm and lift. Inhale, lower, reach for the foot. Exhale, sweep the arm all the way over, find plank and vinyasa. Lower down, knees and chest, or Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Cobra or Up Dog. Exhale, press back to Child's Pose or Downward Facing Dog. Stay here and breathe. On your next inhale, lift the head and come up to kneeling. Next up is camel pose. Bring the knees hip width apart or wider if needed. Feel free to use a block between your heels for support. Bring the heels of your hands to your back hip bones and press the flesh down with your fingers. Roll your shoulders back and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, lift the chest up and back. If you want to increase intensity, walk the hands down to the block and or your heels. Be mindful not to crunch your lower back. One more breath here. If your head is lifted, bring the chin to the chest. Walk the hands back up to your hips. Have a seat on your heels or your block. Rest your hands on your lap, palms up, and let the eyes close and breathe. Use this time to check in with yourself. How are you feeling? Blink open your eyes and take an inhale. Exhale, gently twist to your right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist to your left. One more time each side. Come back to center and give your hands a good shake out. This not only feels good on sore hands and wrists, but releases any excess energy in the heart center. If your wrists need some love, feel free to massage them. Okay, make your way to a seated position with the legs extended out in front for Paschimottanasana. Sit up nice and tall. Take an inhale. Exhale, scoop the belly up and in and walk those hands down your legs. Hold on to wherever you can reach and breathe as you open up the back of the body. Take one more big breath. Gently release the hands and roll the ankles out if they feel stiff. Now bring the bottom of the right foot to the inner thigh for Janu Shirshasana. Let the knee open up to the side. Sit up tall, micro twist towards the straight leg so the sternum is in line with the thigh. Exhale and walk the hands down the legs to where you can reach. Stay and breathe into the lower back the hip, and the hamstring. On your next inhale, lift the head and come up to vertical. Exhale where you need to. Release the right leg and shake out your legs. Bring the bottom of the left foot to the inner thigh for Janu Shirshasana on the second side. Sit up tall, 
micro twist to the straight leg so the sternum is in line with the thigh, and then exhale, walk the hands down the leg to where you can reach. And it's okay if it's different than the first side. Stay and breathe. On your next inhale, lift the head and come up to vertical, exhaling where you need to. Release the left leg and shake it out. Now scoot forward so you have enough space behind you to lie down. Before we do that, let's take Navasana Boat Pose. Find your balance, lifting the feet off the mat to a height you can maintain for several breaths. Slowly, with control, roll down through the spine onto your back. Once you're down, step the feet up and just be here. Feel the sensation of your body relaxing and melting into the mat. One more breath here. Cross the right ankle over the other thigh. Before we stretch out the glutes, let's take a moment to open the front of the hip. Bring either your hand or a block to your right thigh. Gently push it away from you without letting the hips tilt. If you've not done this before, please know it's okay if you don't feel much stretch sensation. This can bring some space into the joint before we squish it when we stretch the outer hip. Okay, go ahead and release your hand. And now bring the legs towards you and hold onto the hamstring until you feel a healthy stretch in your outer hip for reclined pigeon. Be mindful to keep your pelvis on the mat. Cross the inner thighs now for reclined cow face pose. Release the legs and shake them out in the air. From here, take happy baby. Release the legs and hug them into your chest. Now, let's do the other side. Bring your right foot to the mat. Cross the left ankle over the other thigh. Bring either your hand or a block to your left thigh. Gently push it away from you without letting the hips tilt. Be careful that your shoulder doesn't attach itself to your ear. Okay, go ahead and release your hand and now bring the legs towards you and hold on to the hamstring so you feel that healthy stretch in the outer hip in reclined pigeon. Now cross the inner thighs for reclined cow face pose. Cross the inner thighs so there's no space between them, left over right. Release the legs and move into happy baby. Flex the feet up to the ceiling, knees wide, and grab where you can reach. Stay and breathe. I'll bring the bottoms of the feet together for floating bound angle pose. Knees out to the side while holding on to the feet or ankles. Don't worry here if the feet don't touch, it's okay. Gently lower the feet to the mat for reclined bound angle pose. Let the arms go where they want, out to your sides, on the thighs, on the belly, or chest and belly for breath connection. When you're ready, Extend the legs for Shavasana. Let those legs open to mat width and allow them to fall to their natural rotation, arms by your sides at a comfortable angle, shoulder height or lower with the palms up. If it's chilly where you are, bring a blanket over you to stay warm. Let the eyes close and take rest in stillness.
start to deepen your breath. Find energy in your fingers, toes, wrists, ankles, hands, and feet. Extend the arms overhead by your ears for a big, full body stretch. Hug the knees into your chest or step the feet halfway up the mat and gently rock from side to side. Roll onto your right side, resting in fetal position, right arm under your head as a pillow. Gently press yourself up into a seated position, eyes remain closed. Hands can either press together at your heart center or one hand on your heart and one on your belly. Take this opportunity to check in with how you feel after this practice. How do you feel physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, and spiritually? Now take a moment for some gratitude. What are you grateful for in this moment and why? Thank you so much for practicing with me. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Hey, if you enjoyed this inversion free practice, please subscribe and join the Head Over Heart community with the link in the description. See you next time.